We started living here in January and it was freezing cold that time of year. This mattress is actually one of the most comfortable mattresses I have ever slept on. It was absolutely draining on my mental health. It was the worst it had ever been in my entire life and I knew I needed to make some sacrifices and some changes. This AC unit uses a lot of electricity. Hi, I'm Emiliana. That's my team. Welcome inside. This is my dog Remy and this is the kitchen. We've definitely downsized but I feel like I haven't really missed anything that I used to have in our apartment. We had so many pots and pans that we never used and now we just have one pot, one pan and that's absolutely all we need. That's why we've chosen to keep the rice cookers and deep fryers on top of our outdoor space. Very limited because it makes cooking a lot more accessible in the van especially when we are very limited and on the number of pots and pans. We have air fryers that are really handy when you're just trying to heat something up quickly and the crock pot allows you to eat healthy on the go. The part of the kitchen that for us is a hassle, is the dishes. It takes a lot of water to be able to wash dishes. More actually this whole space was completely empty so now we added this storage and down here we keep the remedies, extra dog food, extra sheets and then down here we have some sleeping bags. And to be completely honest, I don't remember what else is there. Welcome to the dining room. This is a really cool area where I spent a lot of time reading books. It didn't look like this when we got it. The organization was the same but it had a really creepy tan cushion. So I hand sewed all these cushions, same with these curtains and made them a little bit prettier. I put in some countertop, put it in as well and painted the outside to a nice black color. We have this air conditioning unit here that we can really only use when we're plugged in. You can't see. If you would have met me a year and a half ago, I would have been an elementary school teacher living in an apartment with my not yet husband. A year and a half later, here I am living in my van full-time yoga teacher. Married now, but it's been a wild ride getting here and being an elementary school teacher was completely draining on my mental health. It was the worst time in my entire life and I knew I needed a change.
I was already getting my yoga teacher training and I started going outside every day just to do my own practice. Through that I taught my first classes outside and started my own company. I do yoga outside. I teach yoga full time now and in order to continue living as a yoga teacher I needed to make some sacrifices and some changes. And that's the lesson I took my mental health is so much better than it's ever been. Even the fact that I live in this little van here. Welcome to the bedroom. We have a queen sized bed here. That was one of the things I needed the most as a place to sleep extremely comfortable. I love sleeping here. This mattress is actually one of the most comfortable mattresses I have ever slept on. We bought it for this exact purpose, and I think I sleep welcome to our bathroom. Here we have a wet room with a shower and toilet our toilet is black water and we have about 20 gallons so it will probably last 10 to 14 days. We have a water heater so we turn it on about 15 to 20 minutes before we shower and we can take a full shower as long as we want. We actually prefer to shower in our outside shower because our inside shower collects all that water and adds our grey water tanks to it. So yeah I think if we had to build again we would just keep the shower outside because between showering at the gyms and showering outside we don't really use it that much. Behind the mirror we have some toiletries, storage and underneath there is also a cabinet that stays completely sealed where we keep toilet paper. We actually bought the truck, gear, and a combo on Facebook Marketplace for oh, oh, oh From a guy who really only used it for hunting and it looked like you really only used it for hunting. I think there was actually deer blood under our kitchen table so we completely gutted it. We invested about 5,000 into the renovations and that includes the solar panels we have on top, the blue tea we have on the new floor, the slats on top of our roof and all those little touches, almost $5,000 and then we hit the road. Our transmission actually went out on our first trip we took so we had to spend another 5,000 to be able to get our transmission fixed. We lived in a rental car for 10 days and being outdoors is what clears my mind and what fulfills me the most. So the choice to live in the van and the race is what really fuels me by filling my own soul. And when my soul is full, I can help other people fill their souls too.
Thank you so much for checking out. If you want to come to a yoga class, you can visit doyogatide.com. If you want to follow along on social media, you'll find me at Doyo Yoga Outside, on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I look forward to seeing you outside.